Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to another exciting video on IT and Automation Academy's YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about what is VFD. What are the hardware components inside the VFD and where exactly we use them. Before we start today's video, I request you if you like our videos and if you haven't subscribed our YouTube channel, consider subscribing this channel and don't forget to turn on notifications. If you will hit the bell icon, you will be notified whenever there will be any informative video from IT and Automation Academy. So what is actually VFT? VFT or Variable Frequency Drive is a motor controller that is used to run a motor at variable speed by varying its frequency. Now let's get into the hardware of VFT. What is inside the VFT? First of all, when AC signal is injected into the VFT, it has to pass through the diodes. What is the purpose of diode? Diodes are there just to convert the AC signal coming in to DC. The DC signal that we are getting from the output of diodes is not very clean. So that's why we need to have a capacitor here. The purpose of the capacitor here is to clean the DC. The output that will come from the capacitor will be very nice and clean. Then the signal that is coming from the capacitor is passed through the transistors. There are six transistors or IGBTs that are there. When this signal is passed through these transistor, it is converted back to AC. We have to understand that transistor or IGBTs here are acting as a switches. By using these switches, we are actually controlling the frequency of motor, which at the end control the speed of motor. As you know the basics of physics, the frequency is directly proportional to speed. If frequency goes high, speed will go high. If frequency go down, speed will go down. In another words, we can say that by switching these switches or IGBTs, we create any frequency we like. And that frequency will vary the speed accordingly. In short, we can say that we have three elements in that. First of all, is rectifier and then DC bus system and then inverter. In rectification process, we have six diode and role of these diodes is just to convert AC signal to DC signal. As this DC signal is not very nice and clean, it's a bit choppy signal. That's why we are using capacitor. So in DC bus, we are using a capacitor to clean that DC signal. So now at the output, we have a more clean and nice signal. And now this signal is passed through the inverter where we have IGBTs or transistor and the role of these IGBTs and transistor is to convert that signal back to AC. And now this AC signal is ready for your motor to use. Now let's talk about some industrial applications where we are actually using VFTs. Let's go to the packing industry and try to find whether we are using any VFTs there. Yes, in conveyor systems, we are using VFTs. And what is the benefit of using VFTs? By using VFTs, conveyor speed can be changed to the most suitable value according to the workpiece. VFT is also allowing us for the soft start and stop and that prevents the products from falling down. VFTs are variable frequency drives help us to control the speed of motor. In conveyor system, by controlling the speed of motor, we achieve a soft start and soft stop. It helps us to prevent the objects from falling down and wobbling. Shocks to the machines are observed and acceleration and deceleration is free of the shocks. As you can see here, the conveyor belt is not running at the moment. So we will ask the operator to start the conveyor belt. You can see the conveyor belt, it started. It is gradually increasing the speed and hence giving us a smooth start. Now we will ask the operator to stop the conveyor belt. And now you can see here, the conveyor belt will not stop suddenly. It will stop smoothly and there will be no jerks observed. There will be no wobbling in the bottles. In industrial application, by using VFTs, we are achieving smooth start and stop. If we talk about oil and gas industry where we have to control fans and pumps and that is achieved by using VFTs also. There are too many other applications where we are using VFTs. We will talk about in detail in separate section on VFTs application in industries. <gasps>
to get more updated about my life you can also follow me on my instagram my instagram information is into the description of the video thanks for watching this video till next video take care and allah hafiz